some kind of energy booster, but I don't feel any different. You know, between me and you, I think we should ask for more money. A lot more. Pretty sure this wasn't part of the contract. to renegotiate. Did you take your dose? Yeah. If you want your own head, you gotta sign up with the lady downstairs. Wouldn't recommend it, though. No question. You've got the antibodies. Thank you very much. Wait, what? You could be the key to saving this world, Jake Mueller. <laughs> Save myself first. Something? Just my balance. I'm fine. Sherry Birkin, the United yeah, yeah, States. Yeah, yeah, good for you, but that's not really the time. You coming? After you. All right, first things first. I want 200,000 up front, another 200 when this is over. I want BOWs. Those are extra. An additional grand. Each. I'm not here to hire you. What? Why are you here? Your blood. What, are you the Red Cross or something? No, listen, those things that attacked us, they were all exposed to a new virus called the C-Virus. Mm -hmm. The same strain that you just took a dose of. It didn't affect you because you've got the antibodies. Right now, we're racing against a global bioterrorist attack and we needed a vaccine yesterday. We need you, Jake. We need your blood. Fifty million dollars. What? Cash. Non-negotiable. That'll get you one pint. All right, where to? Nathalie! What's the matter?
We go with your plan. Sherry Birkin, National Security. Yes. But there's something I need to run by you. Mr. Mueller is requesting compensation for his cooperation. Fifty million dollars. Yes. Yes, I understand. I'll let him know. So, we got a deal? Yes, we have a deal. <laughs> well, that was easy. Oh. <sighs> By the way, guy that you're all chummy with back there. You mean Chris? That's the one. What about him? Forget it. I didn't warn you. Tell me what the hell just happened. Long story. Yeah, maybe it's your blood they should be testing for vaccines. They already did. More than I could stand. What are you doing? The data's gone. What data? Your data. Your blood analysis, your genome, everything that we need to make a vaccine. No, I mean everything I need to get my 50 million. No? Well, come on, Supergirl. Let's get looking. further to the rendezvous. Oh, oh, oh wait! So, you always been like that? You know, the whole healing thing? 
My dad was a scientist. He was working on VOWs when I was exposed. Luckily, I was treated with the vaccine before it was too late. But the virus adjusted and adapted. It's been a part of me ever since. Well, what happened to your father? His research killed him. By the time he died, his body had mutated so much, he wasn't even recognizable. Sorry, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to. That's all right. Besides that, I didn't walk out of it empty-handed. Yeah, you got superpowers. That's not what I meant. The people who saved me, Leon and Claire, are the closest friends I've ever had. Claire is a BSAA guy's sister, right? They risked their lives for me back in Raccoon City. I guess I'm still just trying to live up to their example. Never giving up. No matter the odds. Speaking of odds... Looks like we got some party crashers. This cabin's invitation will lay. Rendezvous. About damn time. Wesker? He lost me. Albert Wesker was a colossal imbecile. A fool who tried to destroy the world. He was also your father. What? Which makes you heir to a very special blood type.
Jake! Jake! <clears throat> uh, where are we? China. Obviously, but where? Why? Don't know, don't care. There's no I am done being their guinea pig. What did they do to you? <laughs> Plenty. They said something about using my antibody to enhance the C virus. Oh no. What else did they say? You know anything about him, Albert Wesker? What? Take that as a yes. We talked about him. A lot. I guess he had an antibody that could fight off any virus. Apparently, he abused his gift. Took it for granted. And then ended up turning himself into some kind of monster. You know, I thought dear old dad was just a deadbeat who skipped out on us. No, 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 he was actually a freaking nut job who almost destroyed the world. Your father's actions have nothing to do with you. Yeah, but his blood does. It's the whole reason why we're even here. I mean, come on. You really think that crazy doesn't run in the family? That nothing of who my father was didn't somehow get passed on down to me? You of all people should know that's true. I'm just saying. The man that I am, the things that I've done, at least it all makes a little bit more sense now. What? You can blame your father all you want, but at some point, you have to take responsibility for your own actions. Jake! <clears throat> what is this? Data from your experiments. Right. Here we go. Hello. It's all... Right here. Why don't you call your boss? It's me, Sherry Birkin. Yes, he's okay. We were detained at a facility in China. Really? All right, I'll send you our exact coordinates. They're already here in China. It's over. We're saved. Oh, hallelujah. So, are you ready? Done. Now, let's get the hell out of here. Yes! We're all right. Understood. I'll make sure. We'll be there soon. What did he say? He gave me the rendezvous coordinates. It's close.
Boy Scouts are here too. Jake? Wesker was my father. Uh, I don't think so. Why? No reason. Maybe I just rubbed him the wrong way. Kucheng is up ahead, at the mouth of the river. All right, come on. You worry about Simmons, right? You're gonna be fine. as soon as we can. Boss still keeping tabs on you, huh? For now. Let's go then. If Leon was right about Simmons, I want you to run. <laughs> no matter what happens. Promise me. Fine. Simmons, I should have been able to see through his lies. This is all my fault. Just following orders, right? I thought you were doing the right thing. Find the vaccine. Save the world and all that.
enough of this cat and mouse bullshit. Come get some, you ugly son of a bitch! along with six months worth of test results retrieved from Neo Umbrella's archives. With the data now in the right hands, things seem to be finally settling down. Following Jake's rescue, BSAA officials classified his relationship to Albert Wesker as top secret, recognizing the threat it could pose to global security. 